welcome back everyone. This is Plague Inc. again on the easiest thing in the game. The easiest uh, disease in the game. Don't believe me? Um, well, just wait. Just wait for a minute and you'll see just why it's so very easy. Now, if you've already played Plague Inc. and you've had trouble with this level, um, I'm just going to show you how you can have not trouble with this level. And beat it very, very easily. Once I pick jeans, playing on normal as always, coming up with a better name than that. Yes, I cut, a, yes, I cut ahead. It took me way too long to decide on a bad name. It's a bad name. All right, we're gonna start in China because there is no reason to not start in China. And then we're gonna get enough DNA to get, um, well, that thing, which lowers our severity to zero, making our virus literally unnoticeable. No one is gonna spot this thing. Now, all you really have to do is get just a couple transmissions and then lower severity again with the upgrade after that uh, severity lowering upgrade, the first one. And then, then we wait. I will be skipping ahead a lot in this video because the waiting part of this makes this run like 20 minutes long and as you can see this video is not 20 minutes long Probably best that we get some resistances so it can spread a little faster. Hey, I need to wait to get some more points. Oh, we're infecting more people. Hmm, this is good. At the rate we're going, it's gonna take hours to infect everyone though. I think I have enough for something. That's a good ability. I have evolved that without even needing to. But hey, at least we're still at zero severity. in Korea. Just Korea. For some reason it's not in two parts. Don't know why that is. Get your facts straight, Plague Inc. Alright. Get some more upgrades. Do I want to get that?
heads down to Algeria. As you can see from the text on screen, the audio corrupted. I don't know why, but it did. So you get silence, and I'm going to have to talk more. So we have a lot of points now. And I know exactly what to spend them on. You'll see here in a second, after I infect all of Algeria. Come on. It's just a few million. Well, a few million more. And there we go. Everyone is infected. And now, you can, if I can remember where it is, by looking at the wiki, um, we can unlock this super overpowered ability and just win the game. I don't know why it took me so long to find the wiki for this. See that icon with the two faces? It's... It's that one. You click that one, and then the one below it, and the one below it. That's right. We can make everyone on the planet kill themselves. This game... It's, uh... This game's pretty dark. <coughs> well, I mean, it is literally a game about killing 7.2 billion people. But still. Oh, here they go. Look at that black bar. It's so satisfying to see that bar go up. Because it means I'm winning. <laughs> but it's like, did my virus even... Did my, uh... Neuro, whatever it is, even kill them if they killed themselves. This thing is just, it's so, so very twisted. Such a twisted little game. But at least there's a cure mode that I'm not going to be playing for like a year. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ha. To anyone watching this, I think the cure mode might still be free, but it's not going to be free for long. So if you have Plague Inc, you should get the cure mode. Like now. And we've just about won. I don't really need to get anything else. So I don't know why I looked there in the first place. Just a few more, just a few hundred million more people to go. That cure is strangely high. The cure percentage should not have gotten that high. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, the cure's gonna, the cure's gonna go ten times faster now. Oh, that's right, there's no one to make it. Oops. In a second here, we're gonna surpass the amount of people needed to have enough gene genetic diversity to repopulate the world. 
and uh, it's not going to be very great. Well, I mean, for us it's great, but for the 30,000 people still living, that's not great. And there they go. Well, they're all gone. I got a really bad score, but that's just because I used the safest strategy possible. <coughs> so yeah, that's Nurax Worm. Very easy if you don't care about score and just care about winning, which is all I care about here. Overall, so far, this game's not too hard, but I assure you, it gets... It, it just, it gets to, like, a point where it's so very hard that, um... I haven't even beaten a lot of these viruses yet, a lot of these diseases yet. I got to the ne Necroa virus, which I think is like a... It's like maybe three viruses, three, um, three diseases ahead of this one, and... That one is so hard. It almost turns into a strategy game. Uh, wait. No, it almost turns into, like, um, a traditional RTS game. Because this is already a strategy game. In fact, it's already an RTS game. Kind of. Um, what I mean is, like, you have a bunch of zombies and you can give your zombies orders and they'll like move across coasts and it's really cool there's so much detail put into that virus but it's so so very difficult to complete anyways that's um pretty much the end of the video so uh you could like it and subscribe uh, if you want to see more or not i don't really care um bye